in the vast cosmos of the mahabharata there was a warrior so powerful he could end the war in moments yet he chose silence over destruction barbaric son of gatotkacha and maurvi was no ordinary warrior blessed by lord shiva and trained by his grandmother hidimba he possessed the power to end the greatest war of all time with just three arrows when barbaric met krishna on his way to kurukshetra krishna disguised as a brahmin challenged him curious about his claim that he could win the war with just three arrows barbaric explained first arrow the marker this arrow marks all the targets i wish to destroy second arrow the savior this one marks all those i wish to save third arrow the destroyer this arrow destroys only what has been marked for destruction no more no less and returns to the quiver to demonstrate krishna asked him to pierce all the green leaves and not to touch even a single dried leaves of a nearby tree unbeknownst to barbaric krishna hid one green leaf under his foot the arrow after piercing every visible leaf hovered near krishna's foot waiting for him to lift it proving its precision and intelligence krishna realized that if barbaric joined the war his vow to support the weaker side would create a dangerous paradox as the balance of power shifted barbaric would keep switching sides ultimately causing the destruction of both armies when krishna asked whom he would support first barbaric replied whichever side appears weaker understanding the consequences of such overwhelming yet impartial power krishna disguised as a brahmin tested barbaric's strength and philosophy finally revealing his divine identity krishna requested barbaric's head as a sacrifice not out of cruelty but to preserve dharma cosmic order barbaric agreed with humility and devotion he asked for one final boon to witness the entire mahabharata war krishna honored this wish by placing barbaric's severed head atop a hill where it watched the great war unfold silently witnessing every act of valor deceit righteousness and sacrifice after the mahabharata krishna blessed barbaric and declared that in kali yuga he would be worshiped as sham a manifestation of krishna himself especially by those who remember him with true devotion today barbaric is revered as khatu sham ji a popular deity known for answering prayers and protecting devotees especially in rajasthan and northern india scientific knowledge hidden in this story smart targeting technology ai like precision barbaric's arrows resemble guided missiles or ai based systems today the ability to identify lock and act upon targets precisely target recognition learning and adapting as the arrow sends the hidden leaf under krishna's foot minimal use of resources for maximum impact a principle of modern defense and robotics energy efficiency and feedback loops the arrows return to the quiver after completing the task this implies conservation and control which are foundational in systems engineering and robotics dynamically switching alliances a simulation of equilibrium barbaric's concept of always supporting the weaker side reflects a system seeking equilibrium a feedback mechanism to maintain balance which is central in cybernetics ecosystems and economics sacrifice of potential for ethical governance krishna's intervention reflects the ethical dilemma of controlling excessive power a lesson relevant in ai ethics and advanced weaponization discussions today the philosophical layer barbaric's story also teaches ethical restraint just because you can destroy doesn't mean you should true dharma often lies in understanding consequences not just power this aligns with ethical ai design nuclear non proliferation logic moral calculus in modern warfare a warrior fights a strategist plans and a visionary leader guides others to victory the best management decisions come from knowing when to be each barbaric teaches us true strength lies in restraint in choosing to watch when you have the power to destroy